No, I, I tend to agree with the Julian scenario. I think it goes deeper than the football side. I really do. I think it looks as if, you know, that the, the player's made his mind up that he wants to leave. And sometimes there's no going back now. You have to perform, you have to train, you have to train well. But I think I, I think his injuries maybe held him up. I'm not sure if that's why. I know people say money, obviously, but maybe people have looked at obviously getting medicals and whatever when you go abroad. And you'll be very, very disappointed that that never went through that deal for him. Himself, he won't, he'll be disappointed. He's no option to play, you know, under the manager. That, that's for sure if the manager needs him at this moment in time. And probably he's getting more game time because of the fact that Starfelt's not available and Jens has just come in. So I agree. I think this is a big off the wage bill as well. Abs I abs I get, absolutely, Sean. Absolutely, Sean. Yeah. I, I think he's made his mind up. That's what he wants. He wants to go. So, but for me, while he's there, and if he's as long as he's training well, that's what you've got to do. But I think in the ideal world, Celtic would like to get rid of him in this window. Mike, would you care to come back on that? Because I've been saying, oh, maybe he'll stay. Yeah, look, but well, you can hear Sean thinks well, it's well, over. See, not, look, yeah. I, I think you can see both both sides of it. You know, in terms of a Stephen Welsh, so I don't think that Stephen Welsh is a bad player. So I'm just thinking he's. He's down the peck now that might do him good to go out and get a year away. It might not. I think the Julian, what happens with Julian is key to what happens to, to Stephen Welsh. Um, but, you know, Julian's there. He's, he's got something to offer as a quality player. Yeah, I've also heard the, you know, uh, concerns raised, uh, shall we say, behind the scenes about his attitude and, and, and his desire um, sometimes. But, you know, maybe it was just in a, a place it could be lonely coming back from injury yeah. and you're just, you know, you're, you're not in your own country and maybe you saw... Maybe now that he's been back in the group at pre-season and, he, and he's ready to go, you might just mm. see, because there's a player there. Sure. We know there's a player there. So, you know, I wouldn't rule him out. But, um, you know, also I, I get the fact that it, that it might be time um, for him to go as well. Yeah, it must have been tough over the COVID time. Well, that's, exactly, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. COVID's real difficult. Mm. And I think people forget as much as that, you know, when you're on your own and these guys, maybe not a family over here, so maybe stuck in a flat on their own. Mm. You're not allowed to mix with anyone. So we all understand all these things. But I think... We're getting to that stage now. They've been back training together for a long time now. I think the manager's made his mind up. He's probably sat down with Julian. What's your thoughts? I'll give you as good a go as you want, but you've got to buy into it. And if you're not willing to do it, but you prefer to go, if you prefer to go, right, let's try and work it. Train as hard as you can. And let's try and get that move done for you. And I think that's the way maybe Angie's looked at it. Both